I'm Monica Hersick. I'm a pianist. A long time ago from Germany and since 1991 from Bloomington, Indiana. He is important because he was actually a very influential musician at his time. He grew up in Indiana Avenue that was a special history bubble by having this segregated high school with teachers that were determined to make their kids better than everybody else because it was an unfair situation. They wanted to prove otherwise. And so all this whole bubble of musicians with him and Freddie Hubbard and J.J. Johnson and Wes Montgomery and Sly and Hampton, they all grew up together at the same time a few blocks apart. So in, in that regard, he was part of that crop of incredible musicians. But for him, unfortunately, he had an, a car accident in 1953 and he was a trombonist. And at that time, nobody realized that his jaw was broken, so he kept playing for eight years on a broken jaw. jaw. And what happened is the muscles atrophied, and at one point at, in the year when he and Slide Hampton were voted the new stars in Downbeat, he realized that he had to stop playing trombone. So this is obviously a very tragic incident, but it turned out for us to be a fortunate thing because he turned to composing and teaching and had the opportunity just a few years later to lead a new program at Indiana University and realized there's no materials out there. So he started writing materials. He started working with Jamie Abersholt, who was a student, Jerry Coker, who preceded him at the school in creating materials. And something that was sorely needed at the time and not available, this was the crew that created it. And so the whole jazz education movement is something we have because of them. The biggest challenge was um, herding seven cats. <laughs> you have contributing writers, and I'm sure you know from collaborative projects that if you're working towards deadlines and towards pulling it together that you always have some that are not working on the same deadlines. And the other huge challenge was um, raising the funds for it because um, IU Press is a small university press. The best part was getting to interview all these incredible people that you know, some of his peers, some of his students, and some colleagues, and all of them. There's so many fun stories that I got to know, and so many great people. I think I, I got the best part of the whole project. You know, I'm, I'm, as a musician, I'm also working also on releasing things and performing, and I have a piano project in the making, some kind of multimedia project that will be out next year. And then um, David, who recently unfortunately broke his hip, but is already running around again, but two days after that bad accident, I visited him in hospital, you know, just trying to be a friend, and, and he spelled out for me the next project that we need to do together, which should be an investigation on, on jam sessions, like the history and the social context and, and, and you know, etiquette and things to do and how has it changed in repertoire. So it's about 10 years from now, I think we'll have that out. <laughs> and, and I told him he needs to like stick around and help me with that so he can go in there.